The newest Pokemon TCG set, Ruler of the Black Flame, has just released in Japan and a ton of people way overpaid for this set. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. Yes, the newest Pokemon TCG set, Ruler of the Black Flame, just released in Japan, and we're having pre-release weekend for Obsidian Flames, the English equivalent, this weekend. So it's kind of like the release of the two sets are aligned. And this set is really interesting because this is a very small Pokemon TCG set. Obsidian Flames is made up of just Ruler of the Black Flame. That's it. There's nothing else that is inside of this set. If we look at Paldea Evolved, Paldea Evolved was made up of three separate Japanese sets. It was made up of Triplet Beat, Clay Burst, and Snow Hazard. Three different Japanese sets making it a much larger set. The reason I say that is to illustrate how Ruler of the Black Flame is a very small set. Very few secret rares, very few sought after cards, but for some reason, after all of the hype of Pokemon 151, which while I disagree with, was at least justifiable and warranted due to the nostalgia factor and some of the really cool cards in that set, for some reason, Ruler of the Black Flame booster boxes went up for pre-order at $150 out of the gate. A simple Google search right now still shows that booster boxes of Ruler of the Black Flame are around $140 to $150. Guys, this is a regular set from Pokemon. It is a regular standard set. It's not a special set like Pokemon 151 was. It's not a high class set like VMAX, Climax, or V-Star Universe was. There's nothing special about Ruler of the Black Flame, and there's not even really a ton of competitively viable cards in this set. There's a few cards that might see some cool play that maybe could change things. There's not a whole bunch of chases. There's Charizards in it, but the Charizard artwork is niche at best. You either love the Charizard artwork in this set or you hate it. And for some reason, in. Japanese sellers thought that they could turn around and sell these boxes for close to three times what MSRP is to people in other countries and people bought in people bought it and what's happening the day after the sets release in Japan we're seeing the top four most expensive cards in the set and the prices are really really low guys drop me a comment down below let me know if you are interested in ruler of the black claim if you're going to be buying anything I think it will be a fun set to open but I think the prices for the Japanese booster boxes are absolutely Absolutely insane. So I want to point out a tweet made by Pokemon Deals Community on Twitter. So we look at this tweet right here. It says, Day One Ruler of the Black Flame Market. Here are the top four highest valued cards in the set. In my opinion, they are pretty low for chase cards, which they are very low value. If you think about some of the Pokemon 151 chase cards where you had your Erica cards that were worth four or five hundred dollars, multiple cards worth around, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars. If we look at sets prior to that where you had the Iono still holding strong around a thousand dollars. And you had sets that really had really expensive cards in them. If you compare that to this, there is no justifiable reason why booster boxes were $150 for Japanese Ruler of the Black Flame out of the gate. Take a look. So we've got the number one most expensive card in this set is the Charizard Special Art Rare. 40,000 yen on average, which is about an average of $283 per card for this specific card. The number two card is the Poppy Special Art Rare, 22,000 yen on average, which is about $157 on average for this card. Remember, we're talking about day one. This is when the height of the pricing typically is. You got the Charizard Ultra Rare, that's the gold one, 20,000 yen on average, which is $141 for the Charizard Ultra Rare Gold. And then we've got the Gita Special Art Rare, 19,000 yen, about $134 on day one. And these are the top four most expensive pulls from the set. If you have a box that is gonna cost you $150, you should hope to be chasing for something that's worth well over double the cost of that box, typically. So if something that's 150 bucks and the best thing that you can pull is worth, you know, just a little bit more, not even quite double, the pricing of these top tier singles are not lining up with how much the booster boxes are costing. And what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see a massive drop in price on Ruler of the Black Flame because what always happens when new sets come out is the cards that are being pulled from those sets are the most expensive right when the sets drop. A big shout out to Drip Shop Live for sponsoring today's video. Drip Shop Live is a really cool platform where you can go and you can buy from tons of local game stores and different 
creators and people while they're live. Drip does not tolerate any shenanigans or any scammers from their streamers. They have zero tolerance policy, so it's a really safe place to go and shop and buy. If you go to the link in my description and you start your Drip account with that link, you'll get a $15 coupon off of your first $30 purchase. Thank you, Drip Shop Live, for sponsoring this video. And honest to goodness, I am a customer of Drips and I have a lot of fun on the platform. You should check it out. So what we're seeing here with Ruler of the Black Flame is we're seeing this set come out right on the coattails of Pokemon 151. Pokemon 151 was incredibly hyped. I don't agree with how expensive Pokemon 151 was for a booster box and still is for a booster box, but the reality is that there's massive demand for this specific set because it is a, a reimagining of the original 151 Kanto Pokemon. Massive, massive nostalgia vibes. We have all new big three beautiful special art rares tons of gorgeous cards we have cards in the set that are worth four hundred dollars three hundred and fifty dollars two hundred dollars lots of value in the set multiple cards that can be pulled with lots of value that people are still buying these cards for so you can look at pokemon 151 and kind of justify why the booster boxes are so expensive due to some of those factors but when you look at obsidian flames it was right out the gate being sold for 150 bucks here in the states and 160 dollars and that tells me that the people that these stores are buying this set from in japan in order to satisfy the demand that their customers here are telling them we want to buy this product from you they're paying well over a hundred dollars probably 120 dollars a box from japanese sellers that means people in japan are charging three times msrp up to three times msrp two times to three times MSRP just to sell it over here. And what they're seeing, you're seeing people trying to capitalize on this hype and try and capitalize on a standard set that does not even really have a really, really strong foundation. It's got some cool stuff. I'm not dissing on the set at all. It's a mid set. It's a mid tier set. There's nothing special about it, but it's not bad, but it doesn't deserve the same price point that Pokemon 151 got. It doesn't deserve the same hype that Pokemon 151 has. It's not as nostalgic and it's not going to be anywhere near as fun as exciting to open and complete a master set of like Pokemon 151 will be and is, yet people are trying to justify selling it from Japan to us at the same prices more or less as Pokemon 151. They're not the same. What you're seeing is people trying to take advantage of what they perceive to be a crazy market. And as we're seeing these prices come out day one, where the most expensive card in the set is $283 currently being sold for in Japan, as more people get their hands on these boxes, as more people pull these Charizards and these Gritas, as that happens, we should see the single prices go down and if the single prices continue to go down we will see the prices of booster boxes go down this is just a product of there being way more demand for japanese product than there actually is supply and that creates a false sense of what everything should be worth this again i'll say this isn't pokemon 151 it's not the same it should not be valued at the same it should not be as coveted and desirable as the same and we will see in the coming days weeks that it probably is not going to be anywhere near as valuable and sought after as pokemon 151 booster boxes and pokemon 151 singles are guys if you enjoyed this video do me a favor hit that thumbs up button it is absolutely free for you to do and it is a great way to support the channel i want to know what you guys think drop me a comment down below do you think i'm off base do you think i'm right on with this do what do you think about ruler of the black flame i am really excited to get some of it but i want to know what you guys think so drop me a comment down below and let me know and if you think this was cool i think you'll really enjoy that video right there and like i always say my friends find somebody to love and serve today be the change you want to see in the world see you next time